So, so the, go the, the goal, don't be scared of like people when they're doing this or, or when they're trying to pass. That's why this is going to advance pass. Is that I'm not really that interested in going that way. I'm more interested in going this way. Yeah, right? Because essentially he still has his hands free to block me and do stuff. But once you get over here like this, and you're here like this, I'm going sideways. A long way. I'm, in, I'm, I'm not in any hurry to go that way. Yeah? Because if, as I do, his legs are going to start unraveling, his feet start to try and come back towards me already. Right? So, there's a really nice guard. I think it was BJ Penn that did this when he won the world. But it's become a very, very common way to pass. You guys don't have to do it, but I'm just showing you where this can go. Alright? So I'm here, I've passed these legs across to here like this. And while his knees are together, it's ideal, right? It's got no guard at all. So from here, I keep walking into the top leg. And I put both of my legs in there. Yeah? I've got both underhooks. Yeah? You'll see Gordon Ryan do this all the time because it's a really super good, easy way to pass. Now I just step over one. Go like this. As soon as he goes to turn his legs, he'll put me in the mouth. Because his legs are crossed over when he uncrosses them, he pushes me in the mouth. Right? So when you're here and pushing these legs, this is great. I'm just showing you where it can go. Again, I'm moving this arm out of the way. I've got to control the car park here. So I have both legs inside. Knee to the body. Step into the mouth. And that's, you'll see you're going to do that all the time. Right? Because right. you get to have, for once, you get to have both underhooks, which is pretty rare. Normally you end up with one. Right? So when I'm here, pushing into these legs like this, rather than trying to go up the body and grab their head, because from here, for example, if I start moving north, the others, now he's got it, now he can get his feet on the floor. Now he can start hipping out. Now he starts turning towards me. See, now he's formulating the plan to recover his guard. Yeah? So usually once I have control of the legs, I want to keep control of the legs. feel that, oh, the leg's on the floor, now I'll go back and start going north again. You don't have to. Right? So you don't have to do this, I'm just showing that when you pass, there's no hurry for you to have to go head hump. Yeah? You'll get there eventually, but you have to pass the guard in order. Right? And it's easy because on the Brazilian flag, it usually says, progress in order. Right? So, we've got four sections. One, Two, three, and four. And we don't miss out sections. Right? If I miss out a section, if I go like this, and I try and, try and grab his neck, feel his arm off me. Right? Because I missed out two of the sections, I don't have control. So what, what, what I do is, I, come, I approach the guard, I get control of one. Yeah? I've got control of one part. Now I'm starting to take control of the second part. Now I'm starting to get control of the third part with my chest. Once I have control of the third part, see, and my hands are creeping all the time. Yeah, right? I still haven't stepped into, this, into the fourth section yet. Once I, once I clear the legs, now, now I'm starting to think about arms and head. But only once I get up into here, I'm going through each part in order without missing out a section. Yeah? Because the, the primary thing of jujitsu is control. Yeah? Self control and, and controlling the other person. If I don't have self control, yeah, if I don't have self discipline enough to be able to go through with good discipline each step, 
I'll leave space and he'll capitalize on it. Yeah? Right? So you have to have the self-discipline to be able to like not be in a hurry, not try and grab the next section, not try and jump over things, you know? Right? That's why at high level now you see so much athleticism and people trying to jump through guards and flip over guards. Right? Because they're trying because it's so difficult at a high level against another high level guy to be able to keep control during all four parts. So they're trying to go one to four. If they jump through, but I was watching one yesterday, the guy literally just jumped through to section four. But again, this guy is so good by jumping he created space. And this guy just spun around, bang, guard facing again. Yeah, it's like, oh, all that effort to jump there and the guy just spun around and you were back where you were, right? But if that was a slower, less athletic, less experienced person, it probably would have worked. Yeah, cool. So you don't have to do that, but just be aware that we're trying to go through this in order so that we can keep control and so that they don't escape. Because we want them on the ground, shoulders flat as we do all this. That's what we'd like to try and do. Cool. What do you think?